one shot prompting and why I stopped doing one shot prompting. Now you may or may not know, I made this website with a one shot prompt and it's just really nice, it's really good. It took like one iteration. There was no context engineering whatsoever. It was just a very simple prompt. And then as well, someone with zero experience then kind of took my methodology on vibe coding instead and made what you can see here. And the fact that it's built on HTML, CSS and JavaScript means that it's extremely easy to build features. This on the other hand was built on Next.js just for reference. Now if you are interested in SEO growth feel free to join the waiting list. You can just press join waitlist here. Now what I've found over time is that vibe coding is actually the superior methodology particularly if you're not a massive coder you don't know everything that's going on etc etc. These are going to be my tips for for vibe coding. Now, number one is don't one shot. Build features one at a time. And I mean one at a time. Don't be like, oh, change this, but also change this completely other irrelevant thing. Claude Code just doesn't handle this very well. This guide, by the way, I'm talking about Claude Code generally. I'm not really talking about anything else because I exclusively, right now anyway, I use Claude Code. I very occasionally use Gemini when Claude Code is giving me SAS, but otherwise I just stick to Claude Code. 